<laughs> when I was four, my mother asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I would say African because I wanted an Afro that reached into the heavens, not realizing I was attached to my skin. Race didn't matter to me because I was not made to be aware of color lines or history. I could cry through the units on slavery, ashamed of my ancestors, vowing to never be like them, while still enjoying freedom to be attracted to whatever I found beautiful, without risking accusations of acting another color. LL Cool J, Salt and Pepper, Brandy, Cosby Show could fall from my tongue without anyone accosting me for acting too black. Believed myself culturally sensitive by saying I didn't notice shades, just the person, which was true, but perhaps the most racist statement I've ever made. Cool hippie white girl with mad love for everybody, confused why black girls didn't like me dating black men, thumbing my body at the get out of jail free cards granted to me simply for having the lightest colored Monopoly piece on the board. College educated, teach for America, almost always the only white girl in the room, hoping maybe osmosis would work for melanin too, still trying to be anything other than myself. Plantation colored, slave master bloodied hands, trying to scrub the privilege out to prove I wasn't them, but profiting from carte blanche. Chalked my successes up to hard work, which they have been, but when you're expected to succeed, others invested in your abilities, doors open wide while the rest climb ladders. I've spent all this time looking up at the feet standing on my own head while ignoring the hands I've been crushing to be in my place in the ropes of social promotion. I would point the finger at those above me as if to say, see, I know what it's like to be stepped on too, but pain is not the equalizer I pretended it to be. Empathy is actually sympathy unless you're able to spend the day inside another's emotions. I've heard we all see different shades of color. What I call royal blue may be ocean aqua and a different set of eyes, and I'll never taste green the way you taste grape. Our taste buds will always be our own. I don't think this means that we can't talk about the flavors or create names for the spectrums of light that dance through the waves. However, knowing is not the same as experiencing. And racism, it's something I'll never fully understand. But acknowledging ignorance feels like the first step to change. <laughs>